Tell us a bit of what you've learned from being directly involved in this particular search. Well, what it, it shows that the the team, the certainly under DCP Bailey and his team, is working according to the plan and uh, is you know has delivered today mm -hmm. and yesterday in a very significant way as you know i was on the ground yesterday as well uh back on the ground today to see what is what is happening and the recoveries are consistent and consistent with the intelligence that we had going into this uh, particular operation i'm just coming actually from a briefing of cabinet cabinet my both myself and the uh, new CDS just brief cabinet on some of the things that will be rolling out over the next month and beyond over the over the entire year as a matter of fact to address the flare that we have now but this overall situation of murder in Jamaica we are in a position where shootings at the moment are down 16% rape is down Robbery is down, break-ins are down, but still we are plagued with this murder because you have criminals out there who are bent on resolving their issues by murder and killing each other. And that accounts for the large proportion of the murders that we are seeing. I had a meeting on Saturday night with the new CDS to look at some more agile ways in which we can respond jointly when we have flare-ups. As you know, once you have a killing, if we don't interrupt it right away, then the reprisals follow. Before you know it, these gangs have decimated each other. But the reality is they are also Jamaican citizens and we have to ensure that we prevent them from doing it by putting them in prison for the crimes that they are committing. What I've seen as well is a stick creativity from our officers. I saw a large push on the weekend to cover our roads, routes and, and um, the various urban spaces where we've had problems and it was you know, it showed a commitment from our officers that doesn't match this narrative out there that, that officers are demoralized and they're not doing the work. That's not true. And this shows, this creativity over two days we have not left here and we're recovering the weapons this shows something else and our officers demonstrate something else on the road the truth of the matter is our officers have challenges there are significant challenges and you know we could enumerate all of them but to suggest that because they're facing with challenges that they're going to drop hands or not do their work that's not what i see on the road and that is not consistent with the JCF and the JCF I lead. I, I spend my time advocating for my officers, for the equipment they need, for, for their benefits, for everything associated with them. And they have been delivering work. You know, so I think it's important uh, to make that. Not to say everything is perfect, or that everything is as it should be with them. That they get everything they want. That's not true. That would be dishonest stuff. But the reality is they, have, they have, are committed to doing the work to protect Jamaicans. We have a flare at the moment with murders. It's not the first time. I've been in the business for a long time. It happens. We put things in place and we get it done. We're committed to getting it done. Every division has specific targets with respect to homicides that they've been given. And that has created an overall target for the force which we will be working towards. So the, I, I want to just convey as best as, as possible that apart from, in spite of all the comments and noise out there, you have a JCF who's working with partners and a JCF committed to protecting our people and we are doing it. Gang leaders, I think there was a question that was asked about gang leaders and so on. A number of them are in custody. We have been routinely putting them in jail. Now there are other issues with that because you can still order something. People are still 
you have still people out there with firearms and that's why there's this focus on targeting of recovery of firearms. We've recovered 30 firearms this weekend from Friday, plus rounds. Now, we will continue to do that. We will, you will continue to see the deployment of our officers on the road. I will continue to make my representations at the policy level. I will continue to brief cabinet and other persons who are involved in this process to get a more cohesive and coordinated approach to what we do. I think that Jamaicans can be hopeful. And people are trying to disrupt that for whatever agenda or reason. And even those who probably don't realize that that's what they're doing by their commentary and comments, I want to say to people that we are committed. I am committed as, as the commissioner, and I have four deputies committed to work with me. Um, each within their portfolio and move their portfolios ahead. It's a collection of all of this and the increase in capacity and ability of the JCF that is going to lead to the long-term security of this country. We're committed to it. Yeah, this is Ashabash representing for Sandy and Bones TV. More of the people them just like and subscribe our TV. Cause are just a blessing, manifesting our TV progressing. Yeah, New Yorker, scatter.